Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Mandy with Hope Designs and I'm going to do a little green bloom today. Um, you may have heard me mention it in a previous video. Uh, my friend Muna tagged me on Instagram to challenge me to do a green bloom. And I'm going to link her video below that she did. It's really beautiful. And I would encourage you to watch it and check it out and support her channel super sweet and she has really good content and she's always so fun to watch so I'm gonna do a six inch tile I'm gonna kind of use this as an experiment too so um I was gonna do a <clears throat> six inch gallery wrapped and then I couldn't find my tape to tape up the back of my canvas and then I found it but anyway I'm gonna try my little world's smallest leaf blower the last time I did it on a six inch tile, I I didn't like the, I felt like it was the, the blowout of the petals was like too narrow. So I think if I come up a little higher, it'll be okay. So I'll show you what I mean. <clears throat> so this is the world's smallest leaf blower and I take this black part off. So the reason why it works really well is this is like the perfect size to blow out that little bit of cell activator. But if you blow it out on a bigger surface, it gives you these like really narrow petals, I guess. And I don't like that. <clears throat> so one of the reasons I have been practicing going bigger is I don't like the super small petals, but I'm thinking if I hold it up a little bit higher, it should work. So we'll find out. So I'm using a lot of colors today. For the sake of time, I'll kind of tell you as we go. Um, I waited until this color came in. This is called Black Emerald from Color Art. And um, super beautiful, super dark. And I thought it would provide a good contrast so there wouldn't just be, you know, green greens. Well, maybe I guess I'm going to just show you now. This is called The Bells of Ireland, and this is from the first Putting on the Glitz set. So I'm gonna, this is going to be my first color. Somewhere in there, I'm going to put Milky Way, which is really just, it looks white, but it's really just like an interference type sparkle. I mixed this in the Bloom recipe before I got Chantilly Lace Prism Pour, um, which is probably the best way I would describe it. It's super sparkly, but I've only used this in resin, so I wanted to try it in Bloom's. Um, in resin, it provides an incredible sparkle, so I don't know where I'm going to put it or if I'm just going to drizzle it kind of in between layers. Um, this is Laguna Azul from the first Putting on the Glitz set. Super beautiful. These colors all look different under the camera for some reason. And this is Splendor in the Grass from the newest set. It's also a Putting on the Glitz color. Super beautiful green. So this will go close to the top somewhere. I don't exactly know where yet. I don't know. This is Nebula Star, also from the new set. It is gorgeous. And it, for some reason, greens and teals and blues always look weird on camera. This looks blue, but it is a deep, like, mystique-looking green. I was also waiting on this green, Peacock Feather. Um... These all look so weird on camera. I'm sorry. I hope they look better for you guys. Peacock Feather is sort of like a thalo blue. No, thalo green. Um, but with obviously some interference. And then I'm going to put thalo green right underneath the top where the cell activator is. This is a little thick, so I hope it's going to be okay. So that's the plan. And I want to use maybe a little bit of tiny white and then... A black cell activator or blue ultramarine cell activator under black. Like do a dual cell activator. I'm just afraid it's going to be too dark. Um, so I don't know. So let's get going. So this is the Bells of Ireland. I'm going to kind of squiggle them around on purpose. I'm probably putting down too much color as always, but that's a good base color. <clears throat> Where did the lid to this go? 
There it is. Put some things away while I go here. Sorry about my reach. And now I'm gonna use one of the darker colors. Um, Cause I kinda wanna go light, dark, light, dark. So now we're gonna use Black Emerald. I'm gonna kinda drizzle this one. Cause I don't want it to completely drown that out. Cover up that white part right there. Okay, and now, um, let's see, I think we will use <clears throat> I think I'm going to add just a touch of this in between a couple of layers. So just like that, nothing major. And Laguna Azul. Kind of figured I would throw this one in. That this one's been mixed up for a little bit, so I had to thin it down a little bit. Kind of just want to use the rest of it because it's been mixed up for a while. Yeah, let's do that. What's that gonna hurt? Nothing. This is probably one of my favorite colors in that first putting on the glit set. Of course, I have like five of them that are one of my favorite colors, you know. And then, um, I think we'll do a little bit of this in between. I'm torn between Nebula Star next. Well, peacock feather. Let me show you why. So, splendor in the grass. I plan to put right underneath this for some lighter contrast on the top. So, I feel like I almost have to use this next because this would be pretty. If we sandwich that, and this is a semi-opaque. This is not. So, this is also semi-opaque. So, I think. We'll just drizzle some Nebula Star on here. Super pretty. I really want to do a, a bloom where this one's like the main focal point. Okay, and then some Peacock Feather. I'm gonna kind of do this now because we have color kind of all over the place. Peacock feather is such a cool color, you guys. I like that my friend challenged me to this because I don't paint with just green, hardly ever. So, but it's about to be March, so why not? All right, Splendor in the Grass. I hope that this will be released on Sunday. Today is Saturday. If not, it'll go out Monday, hopefully, depending on how long it takes me to edit it. This is really thick. I probably should have thinned this one down a little bit. So I'm going to drizzle. It's a really pretty color. I'm going to have to mix up a little bit more. I do plan to go live next week to go over the colors with you guys and do some live blooms. Um, had a couple colors just kind of tested out and they're really pretty and um, so I will try to provide more information on that soon I'm just gonna incorporate a little bit of this on the top and then I think you guys maybe can't see very well okay okay we're gonna do a little phthalo in the middle a little drizzle Halo green. I'm probably going to drizzle kind of, I don't want it to completely cover up that splendor in the grass. And kind of leaning on, um, leaning toward rather, just doing a black cell activator. But I do kind of like the effects of the tiny white right underneath the black, so 
that may not be where we land. Man, that sure is a lot of pain, huh? Okay. I don't know where the lid to this went. There it is. Um, see, black cell activator. Come over here. I don't know if you can see all the sparkle represented in here. The putting on the glitz are super, super sparkly. Like, all primary elements are sparkly, but they are really sparkly. They're really very beautiful. This is going to be a good way to use up the rest of the cell activator so I can make a fresh batch. <sighs> My gut is saying to just do the black cell activator. I think what we have on the top is bright enough for that to work. So let's see. I hope so. All right. It's a lot of cell activator, but all right. So here's my plan. I'm going to try to and let it settle for just a second. And I'm going to try to catch it up here. I thought about trying to blow it first with my mouth, which I guess I could. And then, yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to see happen. Although that's a lot of white. That's disturbing. Maybe this is going to be the key to me having better success going bigger, huh? I'm going to go over here and make sure I don't use all my activator. Okay. Hey, I'm crazy. So far, this is gorgeous. Okay, so there's one place obviously where the pillow came up. It's not the greatest right there, but the colors are absolutely breathtaking. Let me see if I can bring you in a little bit. I don't know how well you can see that, but they're super sparkly. They look really good together. There's kind of a proper element of contrast. Obviously this I'm not a huge fan of, but I think we'll be able to spin quite a bit of it off. So in my effort to go bigger, I haven't really used my blower, which is the thing I feel the most confident about, is how I can kind of control where it goes versus like the Yeeho or the hair dryers. Not knocking them because they work great. And for some people, they work excellent. But I still need to practice with that. But as I want to go bigger, I kind of think maybe I need to try this. Because I've seen... Um, Seen some wonderful friends do great with bigger pieces and using the, the blower, like Jody does a great job with it. And so I think I just need to pull further back like that. That worked really well. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and spin it out. I'm hoping that this will spin almost to the edge and not be a big deal. But the colors are so pretty together. Now I kind of wish I had used a regular canvas and not a tile but that's what, how it happens right when you really want it to look spectacular it's on something that is wow what that's amazing can you guys see that I mean I don't like this part that much but other than that wow 
Now, now I really kind of do want to do it on a canvas. That's amazing. And now I'm super glad that I went with my gut about the just using black. Wow. Just have to make sure we get enough off of there. Y'all, this is gorgeous. So gorgeous. Wowie, wow, wow. And I love that in some of the places where the pillow is showing through, the huge, beautiful, like, outlined cells. And I don't know if that's the pillow showing through or the Chantilly, not Chantilly lace, but the Milky Way that we used because it would have added its, like, an iridescent white. But man, I hope I wasn't cheating by using that. I didn't even ask if that was breaking the rules. But wow. And the sparkle in this is honestly incredible. So that makes me kind of want to go grab a gallery wrapped and go for it. The only thing that's crazy looking is this part. Um, but I think once it dries, the fact that there's some of that interference sparkle from the Milky Way really keeps it from being too stark white. I just want to make sure we have enough off of here. I did not expect to have this reaction. I didn't expect to be blown away by this bloom. Isn't it great when you have surprises like that? And then the ones that you think are going to be amazing, you're like, what happened here? <laughs> and I love the way that Black Emerald and the Nebula Star create so much like blue-green contrast. And then there's this random corner that like doesn't have a ton of cells or lacing, but it just happens to be right across from this part, so it kind of looks intentional, which we all know it was not. I don't want to keep spinning it, so wow. I'm going to see if I can pick it up and show it to you guys. Look at this, look at this stuff around here. Too bad I'm probably gonna end up just painting right over that. And, or those would be some beautiful paint skins. Sometimes you kinda wanna stop painting for the day to not kill those. Look at that, look at that. My baby pool, puppy pool thing is totally paint trashed. Next time I buy one, I'm gonna do a better job of lining it. But look at this. Okay, let me turn off this uh, ring light, hold on. Okay, zoom you out a little bit. Woohoo, look at that. I don't know how well you can see that, but wow. That is gorgeous. All right, Luna, thank you for challenging me, my friend. Um, all right, everybody, if you have not subscribed, we would love for you to join us. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Um, <clears throat> if you haven't taken Shelly's class, it's 15% off in the description box below along with a link. And then 20% off anything on the Color Art website, which as you can see is well worth it. Um, also in the description box below, code is Mandy1120. Join our Facebook group. It's called Fluid Art Friends. And uh, I... Do you plan to go live Monday night? So stay tuned for the time and the details. Thank you again. Talk to you later. Bye.